What is up guys, this is Max Square bringing you my first review of 2014. So I'm gonna be talking about an app called OneSafe. Now, if you have not heard of this app, it is very similar to OnePassword. However, it does lack a few features, but overall it's a pretty useful app. So let's jump straight into this video. So after you've gone through all the configuration of setting up your library, then you will be greeted with this little lock where you can then enter in your password. It'll sort all of your login items into a few categories. And when you're creating any of your new items, it gives you a bunch of templates. And I found this really helpful, especially when I'm trying to add something specific, for example, Twitter, then I can just click on that and it'll put in all the defaults for me. It'll also give you the website URL. So if I just wanna quickly jump there and log in, it'll give you that capability. Now, as you can see, when you create any of your new items, it'll pop up with a little window laid over your main layout. Now I like this as it doesn't take you to a new window, it just kind of pops up on the bottom. And then when you wanna go away, it'll just pop down again. Now I really like this layout overall. It's very simple. You got your main login items and then you've got some other details on the right side here. Like I said, you can quickly just jump to that website as it does give you the little URL underneath the name. Now, once you've put in any of your password, it'll give you this little quick view. You can show password and here it'll just pop up dimming the screen. This is kind of nice. However, if someone else is in the room, it's kind of big. So anyone else could just kind of glance over and see it. But the chance of that happening is very unlikely. So it's not something too big to worry about. You can also change the background of any of your login items. Now this is really nice that they've incorporated some customization. And as you know, that is one big thing for me. How much can you customize? Now this will sync with iCloud if you have this app purchased on your iPhone or iPad. So you can use iCloud if you would like to keep everything in sync. Additionally, you can export and import any of your backups. And then you have some settings you can change for some security and some other things for your password. Now, if you take a look at 1Password, you will know that it has a browser extension, which allows you to quickly put in all of your items. It'll do it all automatically if you are on the site and if you have that in your library. So you can just click on a button, it'll fill it all in for you and log in. It takes care of all that. But this app does not have any extension, so that is one thing to look out for. If you're expecting this to replace 1Password, just note that it does not have that feature. Also, the UI is a little dated. I, I'm a little disappointed on how old it is. I mean, it's got this old linen background we saw in iOS 6, and it's also got some pretty cheesy backgrounds, actually. That's really the only word I can think of. It's got these ugly backgrounds, and you can see just while I'm scrolling through it, I just, I just really don't like it. Maybe you do. It's just, I prefer a flat, maybe almost iOS 7 design, and that's really nowhere to be seen. Now the price of this app is $9.99, which definitely sets it above its competitors. Now it may like a few features like I showed you, but it does come off on the cheaper end. If you take a look again at 1Password, it's $45 for one license. This is around a fourth of that price, so I think that's a pretty fair price. Now, if you are new to Max Square Reviews, the way I rate the app is by using the five square rating system. Now, this includes concept, is the idea sound, capability, what is it able and not able to do, customization, is it possible to change anything? If so, how much can you customize? Compliance, does it function as it claims? And then lastly, cost, is the cost fair based off of the four C's? So now it is time to rate one safe. Now, I gave this app a four out of five for concept, two and a half for capability, two for customization, four for compliance, and then four for cost. Now, overall, this app has scored a average rating, which means it's achieved three squares out of five. Well, guys, that is the review. But just before I close up, I do have 10 codes of this app to give away to you guys. So. The way you can enter this little giveaway is by clicking that like button and then just commenting below, I want to win. That's, that's what you have to say. I want to win. So I hope you enjoyed this review and good luck on the giveaway. See ya.